Okay, something that we've learned here on this road trip <laughs> is it's very easy to get mad at Siri. It is. She keeps saying, proceed to the route, proceed to the route, when we want to get off and get some gas Siri or Starbucks. Siri is our best friend. <laughs> Be nice to Siri. Okay, your co-rider, your partner in the car, you can get mad at each other, but don't get mad at no, Siri. No, don't get mad at each other either. Okay. Road trips require Be grace and patience. gracious. <laughs> okay, stop. To everyone, including Siri. <laughs> All right. Hey, good morning. So stick around. We've got something fun for you today. We are continuing our road trip. We are heading to Waco, Waco Texas. Always Absolutely. wanted to go. Always wanted to go. Well, not always. Well, yeah. Just since Chip and Joanna. Since Chip and Joanna. So stick around. All right, it is a new day again. Day, I've lost track. I think this is gonna be day five, four. It's I don't blur. know, it's all a blur. So in any case, let's let's bring you up to speed where we've been. We started in San Francisco, went to Folsom, down to Vegas, over to Gallup, did don't Route forget. 66. Don't Grand forget Canyon. what? Oh yeah, we did the Grand Canyon over there. But you saw that video and that big was hole. kind of a tourist trap and it's a big hole and it's still there we had friends tell us why do you need to go see it again you've seen it in your life it's still there so in any case we came to amarillo last night and we're leaving here this morning we saw those cadillacs that was pretty cool and now we're heading to waco waco texas waco texas we have some friends there uh chip and oh, joanna Gaines, they're yeah. personal close you know, friends of you ours know, chip and yeah. joanna. No. no they're Actually, not close friends, friends of ours we do have other friends there that we're looking forward to see we're going to see them tonight for dinner uh we unless you performed their wedding didn't you <laughs> i'm gonna have to edit this pause because yes i did but i'm 50 some odd years old i didn't perform the whole ceremony but i was part of it that's that, that's you what have to tell that part yeah well I'm Nobody just cares. explaining my pause. Nobody cares. Okay, I'll edit the pause out. Maybe I won't edit any of this because this banter is kind of what you have fun watching, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so in any case, we are going to see them tonight. And then, yes, we are going to Magnolia, the Silos, Chip and Joanna Gaines. I have this fantasy that I'm going to see Chip and we're just going to want to sit down and have coffee for an hour or so. Yeah, that's so going to happen. It's so not, not going to happen. But that would be cool. I'd okay, like to talk minute. to Can that I guy. Can I back up and tell a funny story? Yeah. Our friend that we're going to see, actually we've known since she was a little girl. Junior high. I was yeah. her youth pastor. And then we knew her husband later through cousins of ours. Yeah. But anyway, when she was uh, out of college... She worked for us as our nanny, as our au pair, while I was working and, and our daughter was young. And I thought, oh, there couldn't be a better person to help me kind of guide my, my daughter at that time and so forth. And I will never forget the day that I came home and she said, I have to confess something. <laughs> and I'm I like, oh happen. my Lord, what? <laughs> you know, what could possibly have gone wrong? You know, what did my child do? Whatever. Anyway, she said, I had a big plan to go on a picnic and we wanted to go on a picnic at the beach. So I thought of the funnest beach I could think of and we went down there and we went down and set up our picnic and I looked up from setting up our picnic with my, this was like a small child. We're talking about six years old at this point. Looked up from her picnic to realize it was a nude beach. <laughs> so not only a picnic, but education too. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> what, <clears throat> yeah. Can't help it. Stuff happens. Yeah, but This, this is yeah. why we lived in California. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, an awkward moment. So, so she's a very special person in her life. Again, we've known her since she was in junior high, and it's been a long time. Not to imply she's old, but we're very old. No, so, but she's yeah. working on her doctorate now. So yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, how she's old. at Bay, at Waco at Baylor University doing her doctoral program. So 
Awesome. In any case, um, yeah, we're, so keep, we're going to keep you posted. The goal of today is to the, not drive as much to get there and then take the next few days. We're going to take... Slow it down. We're going to take three nights in Waco, right? Yeah. yeah. So two full days where we can just relax. I'm a little tired of the car and the long hours driving. And, uh, and I don't think that Magnolia will take that long to see. So we're just going to enjoy the pool and some other sites and sleeping in and yeah yeah just give ourselves a little bit of breathing space yeah and uh and that should be exciting hopefully we'll see some sights on the road today so that this opening isn't the only thing that you get to enjoy about the drive to waco and uh there you go that's the longest opening in the history of youtube i know can i just say something we have gone from what was it seven dollars and seven nineteen seven nineteen in california we are now getting gas in texas for 389 and if we had whatever the phillips 66 savings card we could get it for 289 like i can't remember when we last got gas for 289 oh my heavens i'm like freaking out at the very thought of it Okay, observation here, Texas has incredible rest stops. I've been seeing these a few times. Sometimes they have picnic areas which have no services, but then they have these rest stops. Look at that, they've got whole exercise areas and playgrounds and it's just amazing. And I guess if you're a truck driver and you're gonna take your you know, eight hour, 10 hour rest, that's nice to have that. country you need to make sure your car is in good condition so I'm getting an oil change and some general fluid top-off service here and uh, 
it was needed. So you gotta make sure this thing gets us across the country. Okay, one of the reasons we wanted to come to Waco was to see Chip and Joanna Gaines' little empire, Magnolia, with the stores Magnolia Home and Silo's Baking Company, all the various shops. They've really transformed this area with their HGTV empire. And of course, we're excited to be here. is inside the Magnolia store. Just so many pretty things. Out here in the plaza, they've got a lawn with bean bags and uh, a wall of a bucket of balls for the kids to pull out and play. All these eating areas, some food trucks from the local area that have come in. It just, this is an event center, not just a set of stores. This is fantastic. Chip and Joanna, so creative. So creative. Well, life's just been a little crazy. We're having a good time at Magnolia. So, I'm hanging out at the silos at Magnolia. Ben's gone to try and procure some sweet tea because it is Heck of hot, but you know, we aren't gonna miss this. Yeah, this is a bit of a jump from Half Moon Bay, highs in the 50s, to 100 degrees with humidity. Adjusting a little bit. Give me a minute. But yeah, we already went into the store and went a little nuts. Okay, so here's what I'm noticing. Because it's hotter than blazes, everything moves a little slower. Everybody's walking a little slower. Nobody's screeching around. Maybe it's a Southern thing that people just are better behaved. But yeah, you just don't feel like you can get into mischief because it's so dang hot. But hey, I'm ready to have a little sweet tea, which would be the house wine of the South. Waffles, are you hot? Is it hotter than blazes? Glenn has procured deliciousness. Yay, Len. The provider, procurer of our family. Grilled cheese with bacon and gouda grilled macaroni and cheese, and a minted watermelon salad. And then of course we get the half tea, half sweet. They call it the Mason Dixon. This is Alabama sweet tea. The unsweetened tea was um, the Yankee, and the Southern was the full sweet tea, but we got the half and half. Because we're just getting acclimated. Yeah. <laughs> and we get to keep the cute cup with a straw. We'll be filling that one up at the 7-Eleven. Okay. Sweet tea, the house wine of the South. Beautiful. We are at the Magnolia Table Restaurant. It's a beautiful building. Looking forward to a great breakfast. <laughs> this menu, this is killing me. I want everything on this menu. Last night I declared to Len that I was not gonna eat ever again in my whole life because I was so full. And here I am, ready to order everything on this menu. Oh my goodness. What to order, what to order. I need them all. I have to have Joe's buttermilk biscuits because she's famous for her biscuits. 
and you know I'm a biscuits and gravy connoisseur you know the expert of the Americas so I've got to try that but eggs benedict I always get eggs benedict I love eggs benedict Lam lemon lavender donut holes stop a butterfly are you kidding me oh this menu so good garlic cheese grits we're in the south now oh so many choices this may be a long morning we may have to try everything Why, hi, Len. Hi. <laughs> Where are you at, Len? I'm at Magnolia Table. This is a beautiful restaurant. It's As seen on TV. Stunning. <laughs> and are these chairs comfortable? I want these chairs. Len made a scene about these chairs. I want these chairs. I'm just making fun of him. And of course, they have a store. You know, we'll be visiting them. Isn't this where you were supposed to meet with Chip and talk about all Where of life's he? In fact, issues. even on the website it says, where do you meet Chip? You go to make in your restaurant. So I want Chip to walk by here and sit down and have coffee with me. He wanted to chat with you. I totally want to see him. Again, we've said this in another video. I, I really don't think he's going to, but I really wanted to. And I don't really care about meeting famous people, but I think it would be fun to sit down with the man. He's so fun and quirky and just full of vision. And I just think he'd be great to talk to for a while. Joe's Biscuit. These are famous. Gotta try Joe's Biscuit. And I asked for extra gravy because, you know. So, as the taste test goes across America, This is a perfect biscuit and the gravy, girlfriend, you learn from your southern mother because that is good. That is as good as mine. And that's saying something. I mean, that's saying something. Okay, that's a tater tot. That comes with this breakfast sandwich and heirloom tomatoes grown on Joanna Chip's farm. Or as she says, her garden. And the ends. We're obviously not eating all of this, but we're trying. We've had to try all of it. Eggs Benedict with avocado looks incredible. And then the garlic cheesy grits. I am at a park here in Waco near their suspension bridge, which is the first and oldest suspension bridge in Texas. And at this park, there is this incredibly large art installation of the steer being driven by the cowboys and uh, it's here at the Brazos River it's quite dramatic it goes down half a block a couple other cowboys on horses behind some construction walls because the suspension bridge is being rehabilitated apparently but I'm gonna go down there and try to find a place to paint well, here is the bridge, and uh, you can see the all the pillars under the bottom there, the rust color that that's all supports for the rehabilitation project. It's a beautiful uh, waterfront trail, lots of bridges going over this river uh, to merge the town together, but I'm not entirely sure I want to paint it. Watercolor, silver items and the light color support of the bridge with the sky behind it. I'm not so sure it's uh, gonna be what I wanna do. We'll see. Waco has this incredible river walk that goes along, guess what, the river. <laughs> and there's all these really awesome statues of animals along the way. Um, it heads to the entrance of the zoo 
uh, or is coming from the entrance of the Dizu, depending on which direction you're going. But just beautiful, beautiful statues. Um, most of them seem to be bronze, uh, but they're just fun along the way. And coming up here is this giant elephant sitting on a bench. There it is. Look at that. That's just so whimsical and fun. In any case, uh, just a fun city. Uh, really neat um, atmosphere and artistic and just I, I, I'm really enjoying Waco very much. I'm at this really cool bookstore in Waco called Fabled with the cafe and great bookstore and here they have something from the lion the witch and the wardrobe it's all true Edmund had seen it too there is a country you can get to through the wardrobe Edmund and I both got in we met one another in there in the wood said Lucy you go through the wardrobe and you end up in the children's book section. Isn't that great? So fun. Okay, they made a mocha that's Harry Potter references. It's awesome. What's the name of the mocha? A muggle mocha. It's a muggle mocha. How fun is that? Get the ice cube. Get it. The ice cube. Get it. Get it. Where is it? Go get it. Get the ice cube. Go get it. <laughs> well, hey, thank you for joining us on our trip to Waco. This was a fun time. Yeah. Just to... A little bit expensive, though. Well, we did buy a few things at the stores. Yeah. That's a little... I mean, like, I was glad that we were a little bit controlled by we couldn't carry it but yes <laughs> um yeah, yeah i wanted to spend a lot more we went to the home Thank store you, lots of furniture we went to purse stores lots of purses went to i don't know just a bunch of different stores and finally i just said we can't take any more of the car they 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 you ship have to have a few special things of course and so we did get a few special things you and have, like waffles coming off of you just dangling there. Okay. Okay. Waffles is down here going crazy. Going She's berserk. excited to go. Actually, she, knows she wants to be in the video. Yeah, she just knows that we're getting ready to leave. And so she she's excited for the next adventure. And we are too. So we've had a great time here. Good to spend a few days and not be in the car all day long every day. Waco's a cool city for it the is. size it, it is. It is like an up and coming. Yeah. Like they have transformed this community. Lots of art scene, lots of creative shops, not just the not Magnolia. Cool lots yeah. of nice people. Very cool. Just just a beautiful city. Yeah. And I hope and you've enjoyed everything. some of the sights that I showed you and and uh, we'll our experiences. Be back. Yeah, we're gonna come back. Yes. We and the cool truck. thing. No. Yeah, with a big truck. <laughs> We're going to rent a U-Haul and go shopping at Magnolia Home. Yes, indeed. No. We're not. Okay. Hey, go ahead and like and subscribe if you would. Maybe offer a super thanks. Just a big super thanks. Yeah. For furniture. yeah. No. no, no, don't buy our furniture. Yeah. Just, just send some appreciation. We'd love to hear from you. Comments below, and that would be wonderful. Be good to others. Bye-bye.